welcome to another episode of All Views. Views. Tonight, we're excited to have two of our friends with us. For as long as we've been doing this, we've been promising to have guests. <laughs> and we finally have guests, so cheers to that. Cheers. Oh, it actually tastes good. I didn't taste it. <laughs> you are worried if it's going to taste bad enough? Yes. We're going to tackle three different topics and we'll just break it up into three different episodes. So if you see us wearing the same clothes and the same gorgeous hair, it's because we filmed all of them at once. So tonight I'm happy to have two of my friends with me and I'll let them introduce themselves. Yes. My name is Dwight Thomas, co-owner of Thomas Brothers Multimedia and resident freak. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Briz Vlogs, a YouTuber. Go ahead and check this out. I'm a young mother who goes around and does videos. Alright, so we seem to have two interesting ones with us. Our first topic tonight, I will. Okay, let's do the first one. So, our first topic is. Well, not. Huh, maybe I shouldn't phrase it like that. It's more of a scenario, right? Okay, so if you're in a relationship, and the relationship feels tired, it feels drawn out. Why not walk away? That's a scenario. But, uh, isn't that more a scenario? I, uh, okay, you know what? I'm, I'll not give the scenario. <laughs> I'm looking at her. I will not give the scenario. Okay. Why is it when a relationship gets exhausting and tiring, we do not leave? Is it because of attachment? Is it because of love? So let's see if we can explore that for a little bit. First thing I want to know is that if you really love someone, you will go through all the BS with them. Whether you want to leave or not, that's the problem. I agree that love may play a role, but I believe that a lot of people feel after spending so much time in your relationship, energy into your relationship, that they don't want to give up that relationship so i feel like it, it, it depends on the person in your relationship but to me relationships should not get exhausted you should know your partner well enough that you can bring across different things in different ways even if it's the same exact things that you do just do them differently to make your relationship maybe a little bit more exciting it doesn't have to be bringing someone, someone else into your bedroom. It doesn't have to bring. It's just a matter of spicing up your love life in any way, shape, or form. And it should help keep your relationship from going down rather than okay. dying. So I, so I definitely believe that compatibility is a factor in is important but you can also not be compatible and still, and still have a working relationship okay so after saying that let us go there <laughs> you have a partner <laughs> no, no, no. let's go there you have a partner so you're saying that it's relationships should not be exhausting but you have a partner and you realize it's not the compatibility it is just that it's not working everything you do is just hard it's like an uphill battle Guys, if you're hearing a little meow meow meow, it's a little stray cat that somebody, I guess, you know, not a topic, we'll talk about people bringing home stray animals, but, <laughs> yes, you know, so your relationship is getting exhausting because even the things, so even the things you've tried to spice it up with is now not working. So why is it do people stay even at that point where you don't want to hug the person, you're no longer in love with them, you love them because they're your person. Um, you don't want to share bed with them, you don't want to share things with them. You're not happy, but you stay. That's, that's what that means. Danny, we haven't heard from you. Yeah, I think maybe most times people, <laughs> people stay out of fear maybe. You know, fear that they might regret leaving, or fear that they might um, be making a bad decision. So, yeah, fear of being alone. Yeah, yeah. Which is, I also feel like um, 
in the situation like they were having like communication from something. Mm -hmm. Let me resist the more the more you are able to communicate in your relationship, whereas even if it's communicating your feelings to your partner, you know, yes. yes, I am afraid of being this way, or I am I see this going this way. Your partner has a good relationship with you. I feel like you should be able to speak about those things and it not become a, ma a major argument that basically tears you apart. Thank you very much. But not because you're going to tell me I'm afraid of being alone. That means I'm going to stay. So even if you communicate mm -hmm. your fear of being alone and it still feels exhausting because the problem is not your fear. Your problem is, for instance, let's say we're breaking up because you're an abuser, you beat me all the time. Even if you tell me, I'm afraid to be alone, that's why I beat you. Or I'm afraid to be alone, that's why I can't leave you. I'm not going to stay because you've communicated that to me. Yeah. <laughs> or or that, that abuser might throw it to you and you just yeah. stay. You might not stay because the person communicated their feelings to you. But it would make you feel better to communicate your personal feelings with that person. That way you can come to your amicable decision whether are you keeping together and trying to make it work or deciding to leave and go separate ways. Which I is where I feel like a lot of people make a mistake as they your partner is meeting you, he comes across and apologizes. But what you do in, in retaliation is try to get him back for everything that he, he or she had done before. So you're not communicating your feelings, you are attacking the person. Okay, well, before we end this first one, because it's supposed to be about 10 minutes long, um, I really think a lot of times in the day, in this day and age, in our society, in communities we live in, a lot of people stay in relationships, even at that point, because of the fear of being judged. And people say, look how long they were together. Oh, I thought they were such a great couple. Or um, just so many things, like a lot of what people are going to say, so people stay. You know, they do not want to know what it feels like. You know, that an awkwardness of being detached from what is the norm. You know, people are afraid to step away from what is supposed to be the norm at this point. So first is people, is the detachment of the norm. And also, sometimes I agree with you about the fear. But sometimes it's, it's not just the fear, it's also the love of being in a relationship. You know, some, some people, people just love to be in a relationship. Some people get attached to being not with the person, but having somebody else there. Yes, or so they be dependent. Are, yes, you get, you you get dependent on the person being there. And, so and if you get dependent on just maybe the financial aspect of it, dependent on the good, good, good part of it. <laughs> the good, good. You know, so maybe I don't know if anybody wants to say anything before we run up this topic. And No, that's it. All right, so guys, as usual, you we've given you our views on this particular one. It's up to you to like and let us comment and also let us know what you think. Why is it that people stay in relationships even after it has become exhausting? Bye.